So this is Steve, and I'm here with Marlon Stutzman, who is running for Indiana U.S. Senator. Uh, Marlon, we appreciate your time. Sure. How's the campaign going? It's going very well. We're, we're having a great time, uh, finishing out this last week uh, before Election Day on May the 4th. And so I'd encourage everybody to make sure they go out and vote uh, if they haven't done so already. But um, it's been a great experience. You know, we've been running now for over a year and a half. Uh, first running against Senator Evan Bayh, and then he retired. And so we're uh, maintaining our, our strategy and, and uh, working hard to win the nomination for the Republican Party. And uh, we're really excited about it. We're in a great position, huge momentum, as uh, we uh, finish out the campaign over the next week. Okay. And one of the things that we were talking about a little bit was about the disclosure, the financial uh, campaign disclosure forms that need to be turned in. Yeah. Uh, and that's a, that's a federal law as well as just kind of common sense for voters to see what's going on with their candidates. Absolutely. Um, why don't you talk to me a little bit more about that? Well, you know, what, what's happened, uh, you know, over the years is people are tired and frustrated with politicians that aren't disclosing the information. And in this case, it's just a simple financial disclosure form that all candidates are supposed to file. I filled mine out in a Chick-fil-A parking lot. And what it shows is our personal income, our, you know, our holdings, things like that. I come from a family farming operation, so it shows how much uh, money I make there. And, and it's, it's transparency and accountability. And the other four candidates have not filed theirs, and we're coming down to the last week of the before the election, and, and specifically Senator Coates, who was a lobbyist over the past uh, four years in Washington, has not filed his. And, and the reason I think that's important is because the, a lobbyist is part of the legislative process in Washington. And so it's important for people to know where that money's coming from, who it's coming from, uh, you know, what, who is he working for, things like that. And, you know, and I asked the other three as well that they need to file their disclosure reports because we need to know, you know, the information because, first of all, it's required by law. Sure. And second of all, it's accountability and transparency to the voters. I think it's very important. It is. It is. And, you know, I... In politics, people get tired of the pettiness, but this is something that is, it's the law, and nobody should be able to go around it, and uh, we filed ours uh, a long time ago, and you know, it's public information, and um, the others have not, and specifically Senator Coates, and so I would, I'm encouraging him, and I believe that it's important for the Republican Party to put pressure on our candidates to, to um, ask these candidates to get their disclosure reports in as quickly as possible, because we only have six days until the election. Busy six days for you as well? It is, it Lots is. Lots of events. We're going from here to, uh, we're going to be in Indianapolis, Richmond, uh, down south, Corydon area, uh, Terre Haute, Lake County again, and um, kind of probably some other places in between. So uh, we're going to be in Hendricks County as well, Avon area, and I, I think it's, um, uh, we're really excited, and it's been a great experience for us. We wish you well. All right, thank you. It's good to be with you again. Thank you.